new day, new ideas. So I did learn on the internet and on YouTube that um, although this doesn't have any sort of relief valve to it, I do have to still kind of start it up and push the oil through, the fluid through. And so I think it's gonna be a little bit of a hassle. Hopefully having it on yesterday didn't ruin the, the brand new pump. Man, fingers are crossed on that one, right? So um, what I've done is I've taken these two lines off on this side and the first one did have uh, some kind of uh, milky kind of blackish uh, of the hydraulic uh, fluid. And in one video they said, yeah, that's what you should have to start off and then when that's gone, then you can, um, then you can reconnect these things and because now it's through the pump. So here's my thought. I've taken these off. Um, I'm going to turn the line, turn the system on, turn the engine, and um, first get the fluid to go through and purge out of the pump itself. Then when the pump has the oil in it, then I can hook up those hoses. Now, number first thing, um, there, there's really no, um, you know, the, the videos I saw, they all have like low pressure startups and all of that kind of stuff. And this guy doesn't really have that with the exception of maybe how fast the uh, spindle turns. And the only way I can figure to do that is by putting it all the way down. So hopefully I can turn it on at the lowest setting, the slowest setting with the choke all the way open and it will turn over, but we'll find that out. So that's number one. And number two is because of that, I think that this is gonna just fire out of there like projectile puke, basically. And it is just gonna make a gigantic friggin' mess. And so I can't think of any other way of doing it. I can barely get anything, any tray or anything with all these hoses and every, all these little jut outs and everything else in here. Kind of see with a little bit far away. It is. It was, it was difficult just to get that little cup in there. It's crazy, but there's no way to get that in there. Um, I do still have the angle on that one, so it'll shoot down, but that one is just gonna shoot straight out, I'm afraid. So I'm just gonna turn it on, turn it off, and then if I do get oil out here and it's, it looks like it had pushed through and gotten the air out of that, then I can reconnect these, and from there, I'm then gonna have to go, and I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to bleed out and just open each one of these things up um, one at a time. I, I don't know if I have to do it here or not, or if I can just have the valve open. And as long as I have the hose that it's connected to with the bleeder on it, it'll push the air through it and the air will come out and I'll be good to go. Um, because those are really tough to get to and they, you know, again, they make a huge freaking mess. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Some of this stuff, um, like this guy and this guy are impossible to get to. So I was wondering if I did a quick connect on these, um, but it's just going to shoot it, you know, out that way, I think. Um, so I think just, I'm just going to try bleeding them out here. Um, see if I can get it to, to go and, and then just kind of use the levers um, when the hose line is open and hopefully it'll, or the hose line, uh, yeah, the hose line and, and it'll push out the air. That's what I was thinking. So it's, I don't know, man, I think this is going to be a huge mess, but we'll see what happens.